Hello, welcome back. This is question 6 of the Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics, paper 4 1, written in May June 2024. If this is the first video you are seeing in this playlist, there are five videos in the playlist. Kindly go to my YouTube channel. Uh, there is a playlist titled IGCSE Mathematics, paper 4 1, May June 2024. There are five videos there. Question 6. The diagram shows the positions of two lighthouses, A and B, a boat C and a harbor H. C is due east of B. So that means here is um, angle 90 degrees. Okay, that's the implication. Okay, so find the bearing of the harbor from C. So the bearing of the harbor from C Will be okay if you draw a line here okay it will be from here up to here okay so that's what we need to get so don't forget that this will fall in first second it will fall in the third quadrant which is 270 so um what we need to do is to subtract 25 from 270 that will give us the bearing straight away so you have 270 degrees minus um, 25 degrees and that will be um, 245 degrees so uh, B run figure 1 show that angle CBH equals to 100 degrees C this is CBH that is this angle okay so we know that this this and this add up to 180 degrees so we can just say that CBH let's put a cap here equals to 180 subtract 55 subtract 25 that will be equals to 100 degrees remember figure 2 show that bh equals to 13.7 kilometers correct to one decimal place so if you come here so this is uh, bh okay so we can use sine rule so that will be bh over sine 25 equals to 32 over sine 100 so that will give us the solution so we have b h over sine 25 equals to 32 over sine 100 if you cross multiply and divide if you cross multiply and make b h the subject of the formula so b h will be equals to um, 32 times sine 25 divided by sine 100 so we can pick up the calculator so we need a fraction then that will be 32 multiplied by sine 25 okay then let's come down and we have sine 100 so let's hit enter so we have what's wrong let's see 32 times sign okay so let's close this let's move forward this then let's come down and let's close this to this bracket so let's hit enter okay so we have 13.73 okay so to one decimal place it will be equals to 13.73 seven kilometers okay that has been shown so let's go to the next question calculate the bearing of a from b okay so if you go back to the diagram so the bearing of a from b will be from here up to this place okay so that means we need to calculate this small angle here okay the shaded angle here this particular one here so that is angle a b h we need to find it so that will be uh the addition of these three angles will be the bearing of a from b that is 90 add 100 add the value we get here so our first priority now is to get this angle a b h and don't forget that uh, side b h is um 13.7 kilometers okay so we can actually find uh this angle here okay because we know these three sides so using uh, cosine rule okay so 
ordinarily cosine rule you don't need to memorize the formula so if you understand how it works okay take for instance now uh if you have okay let me give you an illustration for you to understand this better if you have angle a here so side a will be here you have angle b side b will be here you have angle c side c will be here so if you want to take Pythagoras theory uh, sorry uh, the cosine rule it will be a squared now equals to sum of the squares on the other two side that is b squared plus c squared then minus 2 into b into c okay 2 into this into this okay then uh cause uh angle of the side you are finding okay so this is it so the same way okay i'll do this now since i want to find this angle so i can just say uh 14 squared equals to uh 11 squared plus 13.7 squared okay minus 2 into 11 into 13.7 then cause um a b h i can say theta let's make this theta then cos theta okay so you don't need to memorize the formula so if you understand how it works okay so how cosine rule works so you can easily do that so i'll just come here okay and say that okay let's go to the page now so we need to calculate actually i can just write that the bearing of a from b okay so the bearing of a from b will be equals to 90 degrees plus 100 degrees plus that angle theta i showed you earlier so plus this theta that will give us the bearing so our priority now is to um get sorry our priority now is to get this uh theta okay using this information okay i can just draw this um triangle okay on the other page okay so then we'll calculate the value of theta from there okay good so let's do that now we have point a to be a b a and c here and finally oh sorry i can need to move it to the other side here so we have this spot, this spot, and this. Okay. So this is point A. This is point B. So this is the theta we want to get, and this is point H. So here is fourteen. So here is thirteen point seven, and here is eleven. Okay. So we want to find theta. So we can just say that uh, fourteen squared. Okay equals to um, 11 squared plus 13.7 squared then minus 2 into product of this 2 into 11 into 13.7 then cos theta so it is pretty straightforward there so i can uh, rearrange i want to make this to go to the next side so this will become positive so i have two into 11 into 13.7 then cos theta equals to this already at the right hand side 11 uh, squared plus 13.7 squared okay so i want to bring 14 squared to the other side it becomes minus 14 squared okay so let's divide through by uh, this that is divided by 2 into 11 into 13.7 so the same thing here so this will cancel out so we have to do the same thing here 2 into 11 into 13.7 so you don't need to memorize the formula sum you just memorize the formula like this and use it it's okay but it's good to always understand it okay so from here i'll need to take cos inverse of both sides so cos inverse will cancel cos here so i'll be left with theta here equals to cos inverse okay of everything here so that will give me the value of theta 11 squared plus 13.7 squared then minus 14 squared over 2 into 11 into 13.7 okay so this will give me the value of theta Okay, so I can easily input the uh, expression there inside my calculator and that will give me my answer straight away. Okay, so this is the 
calculator here and that's the screen so we need um cos inverse okay so second function key then cos okay fine then we need a fraction okay let's take this so we have 11 squared okay then plus 13.7 squared okay then minus um 14 minus 14 squared okay so um i think okay let's come down okay so here we have two times 11 then times 13.7 okay so finally i can put the and close the bracket okay so this is what we have here so if you hit enter you should get the answer straight away so that is 68.0 so you don't need to simplify this you can actually input it into your calculator so theta equals to 68.0 so to one decimal place 68.0 so now i can now calculate the bearing now okay so the bearing uh, okay, that is up here. I think that was the first statement I wrote here. So it will be 90 plus 100 plus uh, the value of theta now is now 68.0. So if you add this together, so you should get the bearing of A from B, and that is 258. That is um, 100 plus 90 plus 68.0. So that will be close to 258.0. Question 6D from a figure 1. At 1 p.m., but C sails 32 kilometers directly to the harbor at a speed of 10 knots. Calculate the time when both C arrives at the harbor. Give this time correct to the nearest minute. So 1 knot equals to 1.852 kilometers per Ah, okay, so we know that the distance D is equals to 32 kilometers, okay, and we want to find the time, we need time, time taking for that journey, okay, so we know that time will be equals to our distance over speed, and the distance is 32 kilometers, so the speed is 10 knots so we need to convert this to kilometers per hour so we need to multiply by 1.852 okay so you can input this into your calculator straight away so you should get something 1.72973 okay so this will be in r so we need to convert this to minutes, okay? So to convert this to minutes, you multiply by 60. So if you multiply by 60, so that will be approximately 104 minutes, okay, straight away. So now, so we want to calculate the time when the boat C arrives at the harbor, okay? So that means from 1 p.m., okay, so that's the departure time so hour then minute so it is one then this is zero zero so one hour zero zero that's 1 p.m okay so uh, this one and four minutes will be equals to i uh, can split it into hour and minutes that will be 60 minutes and 44 minutes that is one hour 44 minutes so one hour 44 minutes so if you add this together so that will be 2 uh, 44 p.m. Okay, so that will be the time uh, the boat C arrives at the harbor. So it will be 2 uh, 44 p.m. So you may want to write it in a 24 hour time. Okay, so there's no uh, problem. Okay, so well, for me, I'm good with this. So Roman figure 2, calculate the distance of boat C to the harbor when boat C is at the shortest distance from the lighthouse B, okay? So here is a little bit uh, technical. So if you go back to the 
our question here. You see, so we want to get the distance of the boats, okay, of uh, of boat C, okay, from the harbor. So it has a condition when this boat is at the shortest distance to this lighthouse B, okay. So that means we have a straight line here that is between C and H, okay, and uh, point B is a fixed point, okay. So the shortest distance um, between a line and a fixed point will always be uh, perpendicular, you understand? So uh, that means it will be somewhere around, if we do something like this, okay, for instance, so uh, point C will be here and it will be perpendicular, okay? So that will be the shortest uh, so C is now at the shortest distance to point B and at that point in time So we want to get the distance of C from H. Okay, so this is what we need to get We can put this to be X. Okay, so if you look at what we have here now, so this is 90 degrees Okay, so this is already 55 so you can calculate this. Okay, so that means this and this are uh, complementary angles they add up to 90 degrees okay so um, we can find this angle okay and um, use it to uh, use the Sokatoa to get the value of X either by using this angle here okay or by using this angle here so since I have the angle here so that means I can use um, adjacent over hypotenuse that is cos so if i want to use the angle here so that will be um, opposite over hypotenuse and that will be sine so uh, i'm using angle 55 so that will be cos okay so let's go to the page so let's scroll down a little bit yes okay i think uh, we have something like this this is point uh b okay and this is the Harbor here, let's say H, and we have uh, the new point of the boat is here, so we want to get X. So here is 55 um, degrees, and we already found this place to be 13.7. So using cos uh, 55 degrees equals to X over 13.7, so you can cross multiply X equals to 13.7 multiplied by cos 55 degrees okay so you can bring the calculator so that will be 13.7 multiplied by cos 55 degrees so let's close the bracket hit enter so we have 7.8 857 okay so for me i'll just make it seven point um let's say three significant figures so it will be here that is one two three seven point eight six so seven point eight six seven point eight six 